Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please. Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. They will attack I run this operation. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. Child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins, weak with hunger. I stared into the sky. Me, the vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. 
For the first time, someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the Bolt, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. The archives. This must be where Alan shuffles the council papers. Hmm? Do, 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 do,
What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the ware as he ceased to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast. But I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. One down, two left. The Christian text will lead to another. I am sure of it. Search the archives. Oh, I like 
Este Dima, sí. Cum sona toa winter. not here. Hmm. I should look around. A pile of official scrolls, stamped with a seal. Thank you, Audin. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg. This is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abyss does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minister. I should look for the bishop there. She suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Dead 
mente sua ad modum tenues esse. No, Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. W what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. Et dixa ad eos the bishop's quarters. What is that burning smell? I knew I should have left the building. Several Christian texts. The Abbas was right to cast suspicion the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. Shit. A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand. Oh, Lord of mercy. Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave.
Secured the minster. Locked. There must be another way in. Must be blocked from the other side. No place for you, priest. Go now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once. Something troubling you, father? Abbas, look, they are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because I ordered them to. What? The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! No one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, by a brand.
The Abyss is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim. <laughs> This fire that burns inside. I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand, not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete. 
but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where cold and cruel the fires await. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jovik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach know no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abyss sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jovik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless six have free roam in our lands as well. 
Cure said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The howling mother takes them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And Hure, if he's about. I will be with you shortly. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rhysia, Falavith, Odin, and... Hure. The four members of the council. We should search their offices now. While they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come. To the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. and fail at it. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Fadavith is pressing the council for more silver. A wax seal. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved. Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with something. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? looks that way. It is not him. Not my Yor. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Yor. Right now, we need to get to the Yuletide Feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Speak to the council member. Father with, 
A word, if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selected with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! If that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. Now to speak to the council members. Speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. Alden, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The High Reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Jor, who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. Is someone on the council? You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Of course. Rishi. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason. Who I is it you suspect? Them. Some more than others. Pure refused to drink the wine when I proposed to help flush out the vault. What's more, the needle was collecting silver for the vault. I think Hjor was taking this money and funding the order. Gods, no. The town's funds in decline. A treasurer's hand in the coffers. It is all connected. For these reasons, I think Hjor is the vault. How could I have been such a fool? I need you to focus now, Luthina. These people are in danger. I need your help. Friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Indebted. Aldun is the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, 
Your foolish pride. I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. Protect the king. There is no escape. No future for me. Blood eagle. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. 
countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Like a cow. 